Hey, what's up boys and girls? Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. Chilling out as I usually do on a Friday night since I don't have a life. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I figured why not uh, do a part three. Part three to my uh, extensive collection of Ford automobile ads. And of course I have ads in here that are you know, not technically Ford ads, but related to that, like for example, this really cool, uh, kind of metallic looking budget rent a car ad with the, with the uh, Ford Taurus on it, 1986, first year for that car. And yeah, this is a Canadian ad. And uh, this used to be a Texaco ad, but I, I, I don't know, years ago I cut the bottom part, which was white, and said the text in Texaco, because I just thought the image was so cool, this 58 Ford Fairlane uh, driving in the rain. Uh, here we have a, uh, this is a, yeah, 1977 Starbright. This is a, like, a, like a polish, they call a restore, you know, you can see the Ford Mustang 65, the before and after, you know. And I remember actually I, I uh, cleaned a couple of cars with a product like that back in the back in the old oh, mid '90s or so when I used to love washing cars, people's cars. I'd wash people's cars for free. You know, it's a good stuff. You look at this beautiful, beautiful 1984 Thunderbird. Ad. You know, one of many car, one of many cars made that was just you know beautiful car, but not a good car. Definitely not as good as a Thunderbird as it was you know, I'd say 10 years earlier, specifically 20 years earlier. And speaking of Thunderbirds that weren't great, but you know, still very cool. Here's a, here's a, a turbo, uh, a turbo uh, T-Bird uh, ad of, again, I'm probably about 86, 87, 88, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if it says here, 1987. Cool ad, a cool car. And you know what? F fuck, I've only ever seen it one of these. And I remember exactly where I saw it, actually. It was at a bus stop. I was waiting for the bus. It was, uh, oh my god, I don't know, 91, 92. And, and there it pulled up, man, in the morning. I think it was black. It had a turbo four-cylinder. Perfect condition. Never saw one again. Here's a very nice 69 Ford, uh, uh, I think it's an XL. Sorry, LTD, yeah, XL, which was like an LTD. Nice low sun capping thing. You got your plane glider, a little terror, a couple of terrors over here. And by the way, if you haven't seen any other of these videos about my ads, anything you see, just send me a message. Uh, you know, I charge four bucks for shipping, which is much. I'm not like a, one of these eBay sellers charging fucking ten, fifteen dollars for it to send us an ad. I mean, come on. This one, the uh, other page isn't there. I'll put that right here. And uh, these ads are really inexpensive. Uh, I mean, even this one, look, this is a rare French-Canadian uh, 1968 ad. And I put it in here because you can see there's a Mustang here for this sexy, uh, sexy uh, women's hosiery or socks, I guess, ad uh, cameo company. Uh, uh, here's a, a unique, uh, I'm surprised I haven't sold this, uh, 69 Ford Torino GT, stupid shadow in the way. Um, and, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, like I said before, I took some ads that I thought were common and I thought I would, you know, help sales a bit by making them unique and, and I colored it by hand, including the, the white walls and it looks really cool. Nice Torino Cobra. Uh, here's another ad. There's a page missing on that. Put that here. This one, the other page is just way down in the pile there. And actually, you know, what you see is, is what I have left here in part three, but actually, there's actually more ads than that in my in my drawer, my desk there. Uh, but they're really all from the 80s, so here's an ad for different uh, different colors of floor mat styles. You know, again, that just goes to show you how back in the day in the 60s, that was really the zenith for, uh, you know, cars. I mean, you had like 25, 30 different colors you could choose from, three, four engines, the three different hubcaps. I mean, it was unreal, you know, it was just... Custom making your own car practically. Look at this beautiful Caterpillar ad. I think this is a 74 or 76. Look at very nice Torino 75, 76, typical copper color. Look at these beautiful big rigs in the back. This is the kind of ad I don't care if I don't sell. Look, you even have a GTE ad in there. Uh, you know, very nice. Uh, this is a really nice, I love these Ford LTD2 uh, sport package, but okay, the other ad's not here. Look at Ford Thunderbird. 
74, it's, you know, classy looking dame there and there, you know, beautiful, sexy, dark red interior, beautiful, beautiful, you know, right, right, right after the oil embargo, where these cars were not so popular afterwards. Um, 69 T-Burdan, can you believe the fucking, how long the hoods on these cars were? It's incredible. We'll put this guy here. Gloria's floating around in my mess there. Gloria, do I have to clean things up here? Psst. Eh? Gloria, you got a big tail? Hmm? Meow. What are you doing, kitty? Meow. Gloria, like the camera, eh? eh? She don't feel like meowing. Okay, well, too bad. Uh, moving right along. Oh, this is an awesome ad. Oh, you know, I had this one on eBay, but I had it for so long. Uh, you know, this old paper is so thin, it tears so easily. And when I got it, it was in perfect shape, I think. Look, at a tear there, a tear here, a tear here. I think there's some, yeah, there's one there at the top. It's, uh, uh, frankly, I almost don't feel like selling it because what am I going to get for it? It's not in good a condition as before. And as you can see, all the fucking models are here. Damn, my shadow is annoying. I need, we need another light over here. Look at all these different cars. Every model is here. The Lincolns, the Ford Fairlanes, the Ford Custom, the Mercury's, Montclair, Monterey, Turnpike Cruiser, Colony Park. They're all here. What a tremendous ad this is. Seriously. It's fantastic. I think next time I do this, I'm going to take one of these lamps, I think, and move it up here. Lighting will be a bit better. Better, uh... Thunderbird Turbo Ad, I think. Pages in there. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, that's an older one. This is, uh, I think, an 85. Thunder Roads. Which reminds me of that Bruce Springsteen song. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say Turbo. Anyway, whatever. Uh, yeah, moving it along. Moving it along. Moving it along. Yeah, it's gonna be a long video, eh? Uh-huh. How many of you out there are actually gonna watch the whole damn thing? Mmm. Yeah, of course, uh, at least they're not as long as some people have subscribed to or make their videos really long and never watch all of them practically. Here's a plain Jane car that wasn't worth too much money after it was made. Little 66 Falcon. Yeah, little economy job. You know, simple ad. Uh, what's on the back of this Life Magazine cover? Oh, it's a Ford ad. Yeah, man. 68 Ford XL. Fucking beautiful ad. Very nice. Really cool. I saw one of these, actually, uh, last summer. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is an awesome ad. Speaking of 68, I think, I don't know what year this is. 68, 64. Look at this. This fucking record-breaking car. Incredible design. Wow. It says, when this 50,000 monster broke four world speed records, you can bet they didn't crimp on spark plugs. They used auto light plugs like you buy about a dollar each. A dollar each. <laughs> so you see, even an ad like that, you know, if you were to say to me, Elm, I like that one with the record breaking car, would you take three bucks for it? Yes, I would. Would I take less than that? Probably not. Okay, there's that nice uh, Galaxy Fairlane ad right here. Oh no. Oh. Okay, we've reached a paradox. All right, so two of those left pages, no right pages, okay. Uh, look at that nice uh, family there, 65 Ford uh, LTD, basically a goosed up uh, Galaxy 500. It seems to be driving in the in the snow there, or some definitely a wedding thing going on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there, for you Falcon fans, there's another Falcon ad, 61. I believe that's a Futura with all that chrome there. Yeah. But tell you quite frankly, I hate to say it, black and white ads are not, uh, after selling for a few years online, and even actually, uh, you know, face-to-face, -face, black and white ads are definitely not as popular as, as color. I mean, I, I, I'm the same way. I prefer color, everything. Color, photography, art, I mean. I, but don't get me wrong, I still appreciate the black and white stuff. Especially if it's something unusual or a rare car. Look at this nice 60 Ford uh, Fairlane or Galaxy. It's the car wax. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to mention something. I wasn't going to mention it, but I'm like, oh, Christ, it's bothering me. You know what? When I filmed a ride on a commuter train the other day going 
uh, to the suburbs, I made a big fucking mistake of going, of getting out the train, turning the camera on again. And where I was in the train, it was like, what, 22 degrees, 23 degrees? I come outside, 30 degrees difference, like minus 13 before the wind. <sighs> I'm a moron sometimes. And, and, and I went to go film the train leaving, and the, the, the Zoom stopped working. So the Zoom does not work whatsoever. And I know it's going to cost me, and, I'm, you know, I can't afford to fix it. I don't even have a backup camera. I'm, I'm kind of depressed about this. I'm lucky, thank God, hallelujah, uh, thank Allah or whoever that the fucking camera is still working. But, I mean, you have to have the zoom. I mean, the zoom is also, for those of you who don't know, I'm visually impaired. The zoom is the eyes that I don't have. Here's another ad, by the way, that I colored by hand. I'm surprised I haven't uh, sold it yet. A 68 uh, Ford Fairlane convertible, colored by hand. Yeah, I hope you don't hear that, because Gloria, I can hear her taking a piss in the box there. Here's my ses. <laughs> Here's a nice 73 Ford LTD Country Squire ad. I just got to cut this part out. This one I would sell cheaper, though, because it's smaller. I mean, seriously, if somebody said, I'll give you two bucks for it, it's sold. I just have to cut off the words there. Uh, this is a two-page ad. I don't know. Is it all here? No, it's not. So, how about this one with the fireman, eh? Hmm? Using a fireman to to sell a product, Ford Fairlane, nice uh, 65, a beautiful car. It reminds me of that guy, Sab Kyle there. Uh, uh, you know, he, he tests out cars and drives them and everything. A uh, very nice guy there. Of course, he's nice. He's like too nice even. But the guy had this gorgeous 65 Fairlane. Oh my God, I think he sold it. It was absolutely beautiful. It was dark green. And... Okay, this one is a page missing comparing the 65 Ford to be quieter than a Rolls Royce. This one I kept because it's an ad from General Electric uh, to win a 58 Thunderbird. It has to be cut out. Um, here's another Ford Galaxy ad, uh, 66. Yeah, very nice uh, Galaxy and the uh, Galaxy 500. Yeah, this is a... Uh, what is it again? Oh yeah, the Ford Authorized Leasing System. Fouls, is it? Now? Yeah. Fowls. Falls. Kind of like my name, man, McFall. Oh, this is a cool ad. Very cool ad. Look at this. 1970 Ford uh, XL. I saw one of these a couple of years ago. No, I saw two of them. Look how cool that is. That's clever, you see? Kind of trippy, you know, the whole, like, kind of the world is yours around thing. You know, you're driving in the mountains. Oh, I can only fucking dream of doing it. I don't do it on my own. If I can ever drive legally and my eyesight can be corrected or whatever the hell, I have a prescription windshield. I don't know. And I can do that, and I never mind just driving the city, but driving in the country or driving in the mountains, pff, all I've made it in life, that's like, you know, it's one of those things you could say, man, I've done it all I could buy, you know. Okay, well, these ones here need to be cut. Uh, Ranchero ad, very nice. 70 Econ Line Club Wagon. Getting close to the end here. How are we doing on time? Oh, this is a nice ad. This one I had in the frame for a few years. That's why it lost its color. I had it right up here in the office. And as dark as my apartment is, actually, the uh, it gets pretty bright, especially in the summer months. And um, you don't have to have, uh, you know, direct contact with sunlight on an ad for it to discolor it. Just the brightness alone in the room will do it. Anyway, it's a really cool ad with the Avis Rent-A-Car and the Ford Fairlane sedan or wagon. Wigan. Here's another Galaxy ad, man. You know what? I'm starting to think I'm going to try to sell all these in a lot. These Galaxy uh, LTDs, Galaxy base model, whatever. Because uh, I only sold, I sold one recently, actually. It was a red with a white interior, a coupe. And it was cool because, again, I, I don't sell many Galaxy ads. It's a very nice ad. Look, look at that gold. Fuck. You know how hard it must be to find one of these this color today? Woohoo, man. Glory, you better shit in your box, eh? I'm not going to show you that. That's not a good idea. Because uh, Glory has a tendency of often uh, taking a whiz in her box, and then she goes to shit under the desk. And Teddy has to clean it up. Of course, I'd much rather clean up her shit on the floor than her piss on the floor, because the piss is just... It's so... You know, the urine has such a, a strong funk. It's such a stench that... Uh, it's very annoying to clean. Here's a fairly nice 68 there. Looks like she's in action. Yep. Oh, yeah, she's doing her thing. 
Okay, that's mm. good. Here's a little Pinto ad. Nice change of pace. 70, 71. I've had this one on eBay a long time. I think I took it off recently. It's just not selling, and the cameras are really getting hot now. Space Command TV Zenith. Yeah, definitely 70s, uh, 50s, eh? Yeah, this is a Champion Spark Plug now. Look at that. You got your 55 Ford Fairlane uh, convertibles driving. Yeah, pretty cool. See, the guy who would buy that would be a guy who had one, or his father had one, or he has one, and that's, I know how these guys, I know how these car guys are, you know? Here's a cool 64 Ford uh, Galaxy 500, badass, and it's black color through an interior, oh baby. Uh, mind you, though, I'd sell this ad real cheap because it's got some waves at the bottom. I mean, real cheap, like seriously, give me a dollar, it's gone. Yeah. See, an ad like this, I could never fucking sell this on, on eBay for a dollar. Let me explain to you why. I charge a dollar on eBay, right? Now, after the eBay fees and the PayPal fee, they, it's gone. I don't I don't even have a dollar. So, you know, even if, that's why I charge $4 for shipping. I mean, the shipping is actually 3 bucks, but what am I going to make? Am I going to make a dollar even on this thing? Yeah, so... Anyway, uh, here's more of those lengthy, extensive Ford as I have. Uh, check on Sorry about that, guys. I checked this out. This is really cool. There's a, uh, okay, here's a uh, young uh, driver student uh, for an Allstate ad. And, uh, actually, I'm not sure. This, is this a Ford ad? Oh, yeah. No, no, this is really cool. Look at the, the, the uh, the driver's instruction um, cockpit and all that, the uh, simulated driving test, isn't that cool? But look at this, this is, unfortunately I don't have the other page, but look how beautiful this uh, 68 or 69 Ford Torino ad is. Yeah, we're almost finished here. Uh, beautiful 65 Ford uh, uh, Fairlane. Uh, pardon me, Falcon. Falcon. And here's another part of that Ford ad. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, look at this. Another Champion Spark Plug ads. Very cool action with the horse and the Ford Fairlane or Galaxy, I should say, convertible. Cool stuff. You know. A lot of these I've had for a long time. So, you know, as the expression goes, no offer will be refused. Here's a nice uh, Canadian uh, Hertz rent a car ad. Uh, with a 67 Ford uh, LTD. Yeah. And this picture of a 68 Ford Custom, or 67, 67 Ford Custom with a 65 Catalina. This picture came out of a Life magazine. Now uh, here's a, uh, a part of a Ford Fairmount ad, a 78 or so, I guess. Huh? And, uh, well, here's a part of a T-Bird ad that's not here. And, uh, oh, this is a beauty. You know what's funny? I don't, uh, yeah, check this out. Since it's winter time, unfortunately, it's really a winter right now. My God. Here in Montreal, it's so cold, it's like you would think it were January or February. Look at that, nice 60 Ford uh, Fairlane or Galaxy. Right, with the uh, Firestone uh, Town and Country tires. Look at those babies, huh? Man, I don't think they'd get stuck. But mind you, rear wheel, all the cars were rear-wheel drive back then, practically, so they would get stuck. Here's another Fairmount ad. Here's a Franklin Mint uh, 55 Crown Victoria. <laughs> Gloria, did you poo-poo? Gloria. Hey, did you take a ship? Hmm? <laughs> Oh, look at this, look at this beautiful 59 Ford Edsel Corsair ad. Very nice. Makes history by making sense. Well, I think that's what they would have had people to believe, eh? Oh, I love this ad. Check this out. 1963 uh, Mercury Comet with a Lincoln Continental. Uh, it's all about Ford built quality. Very nice. I got some close ups. Very cool stuff. I'm surprised I couldn't sell this either. Very nice, especially since the Lincolns are way more popular than uh, than the Comet, you know. Here's another uh, Ford uh, XL uh, 68. 
Yeah, I like the concealed headlights there. Got kind of a Dodge Charger look. Maybe not as nice, though, eh? Here's another uh, Maverick ad. Mm, Maverick. I think Gloria found a fly. Gloria, you found a fly there? Huh? What are you doing? Ooh, look at this. Look at this unusual two-tone combination on this 65 uh, Ford uh, Falcon. Try to find one like that today. Oof, would be hard-pressed, man. Speaking of unusual Falcons, here's a 60... God, I never remember. Is this a 63 or 62? 63, I think. But look at that. It's actually got a vinyl top option on that. You know how rare it would be to find that today? On a compact car? Very unusual. Here's a 66 Falcon. Cool ad. Yeah, Falcon. You know, this is a two page ad. Ford Racing here. No, it's all here. No. Here's another Falcon ad. Yeah, we're almost done here. Just moving it along a little more quickly. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever advertised this one. You know what? This here. Is a Fairlane? No, sorry. This is a Torino, but it's a Fairlane Torino. This is not the GT. This is not the muscle car version. This one was also available as a four-door sedan. Believe it or not, for those of you who didn't know. I even have a picture of one as a taxi in Quebec City. And now, mind you, it's a little picture. It's like like three by four inches, but you know, still, it's it's, it's historical. You know, it's it's reflection of the past. Especially younger guys, they don't know as much as as a lot of us do about uh, these old cars. A uh, beautiful ad. Where's the other page to that? It's not here. Okay, fine. Okay, we're almost done here. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, is that awesome?